from NCERT textbook from the topic electromagnetic induction topic learning example 6.6 sum bundle a metallic rod of 1 meter length is rotated with a frequency of 50 revolution per second with one end hinged at the center and the other end at the circumference of a circular metallic ring of radius 1 meter about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane of the ring a constant uniform magnetic field of one tesla parallel to the axis is present where everywhere what is the em of between the center and the metallic ring in the cater rod mari assume panikinge indha rod vandu ipdi rotate aagudhu with a constant angular velocity kaanichirukanga so ipo indha uniform magnetic field la idu rotate aagudhu appdi namm eduthukalam so ipo vandu enna na kuduthirukanga question la pathina indha rod of length 1 meter solliranga adutha vandu frequency vandu 50 revolution per second solliranga indha circular metallic ring radius 1 meter nu solliranga inga uniform magnetic field or tesla vechirukanga so, if we rotate this rod, we induce the of the small part. The small part length is dr. Now, the dr part is em of induce the de. This de is equal to the magnetic field into r omega into dr. That is the induce the of blv formula. This is v place. We will do r omega. Okay, so in the L place la small EMF ku DR nu potukkom ipo id integrate panna total EMF kadaikum ipo B constant omega constant integral R DR nu podnu R DR integrate panna 0 to capital R integrate panna appadi panna bodu B omega R integrate panna bodu R square by 2 varum upper limit lower limit podum bodu R square by 2 nu vandrudhu so ipo induce the EMF ku vandu B R square omega by 2 nu kadaikudhu ipo vandu nama magnetic field vandu or test la theriyum omega vandu 50 revolution per second nu kuduthirukanga that is 50 revolution per second. So 50 into 1 revolution under the 2 pi radian. That is 2 pi radian per second. Okay, no? Into r square. Radius on the 1 meter. So that is 1 square. Now we have to divide by 2. Now we have to divide by 2. Now we have to simply answer nearly 157 volt. So we have to divide by 157 volt. So we have to divide by 157 volt. So we have to divide by 157 volt. 